Hello. Here we have a simple board that arrived in the repair facility today. It's a relay board. It's got four 12 volt DC relays and just a couple of fuses with some protection diodes as well. We are going to take a look at some of the infield soldering that is causing this customer's problem. This is the kind of result you get when soldering is not done properly. One issue that we see here is that the solder is far too hot. You can actually see the pin pulled up right here and you can see some cavitation around the pin. This is what is called a cold solder joint. This happens when the heat is not evenly distributed between the pin and the solder. So the pin was probably cold and the solder was probably hot. As you can see from all of the burned up flux around the joint. And of course, the ball of solder is far too great in each of these joints. It's looking like there's way too much solder used. As you can see, this joint and a good part of the pin is exposed. And the base pad of the solder joint is also broken free here. Here, you can actually see the giant ball of solder. The other half of the joint, of course, has this cavitation. And you can see all the bubbling. There must have been some moisture or some sort of contaminant at the joint when this was done that caused this. All of this would result in very poor connections and ultimately a failure in the board. You can see the solder joints on the other relays, the factory ones. You can tell the amount of solder is appropriate for the joint. As you can see, it actually comes up to a nice cone there. This is what we would want to achieve when we want to put a new component on the board and give it a more factory look. So, we're going to do the repair work and show you the result. Now we have the board all cleaned up and all of the access solder removed. And as you can see, we have a couple of concerns. In this area here, for example, some of the solder mask has been peeled away. I'm not sure if this is from the customer being rough with the board or, you know, maybe scraping the soldering iron while this work was being done. Another concern, as you can see here, is that some of the pad is peeled off on this side. So what we're going to have to do is put a wrap around here to strengthen the joint. From here to here, we're going to wrap that portion. Let's go ahead and do the work and show you the result. All right, and here is the result. As you can see on our solder joints here, we have a very nice cone shape. You can see that the center has fully welded and adhered to the pins. So you should look for this to be flush with no bumps or bubbles or pitting of any type on these joints. We've also, in the shiny green areas around this joint and up to here, where the solder mask had been scraped up and removed, we've added our overcoat enamel that will protect the board from carbon buildup and creating conductors where there should be no conductors. Now, this board is ready to go back to the customer. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.